I'm joined by uh, Richard Brody. Richard, we've just seen the side win uh, one 0 here at Skelmersdale. Uh, what were your initial thoughts straight after the game? Um, we don't half make things hard work for ourselves. I thought they had a lot of possession, but in their own half where they really didn't hurt us, um, we had chances where I, I thought the game should have been dead and buried at half time, and then you get into that sort of routine that they've probably been in and been used to is dropping deeper and deeper and deeper and inviting pressure. But all in all, look, we went to Lower Breck on a Thursday night and 48 hours later we've come on another long journey for the lads to come here and we've come away with two wins and that's the most important thing. It's taken 14 games but we've actually got a clean sheet today so uh, first time uh, in a while I think that's only our fourth clean sheet in 27 games of the season so good good for Louis, good, good for the defenders to get a clean sheet today. Well, I, I think, I, I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's the first time this season that they've went with the same back five, obviously including Louis in a back four. Um, did that for a reason, want a bit of consistency. Look, they've worked hard, the lads have worked really hard. I set them in half time. Do, if you want standards, then your standards are, I want a clean sheet, I don't want to concede. The strikers should be, have the desire to score goals and defenders should have the desire to keep a clean sheet and keep it out their own net. And they did, and you know what, it's it's one nil away from home, it's the best result you can have in it, let's be honest. Absolutely, and as you say, special bench, I think two, two, two centre-backs, obviously Lewis Brown's not, not played a tremendous amount this year. Finley's perhaps been in and, in and out, out the side, but I thought they were both Terrific today, headed everything, defended everything and showed a real passion and desire to keep a clean sheet. Yeah, and, and that's what this level's about. Desire is a word I use a lot and it, it, it means a lot in football. And do you know what? There's a lot of players on that pitch today who haven't played a lot of football. Louis, Finn, uh, Jack Hopkins haven't played a lot of football. But I had Louis and Finn there and I had Moses and, and Jack in front of them. And that four is a core. Big, strong, physical. And when they get the ball, the four of them can actually play. And then obviously we've got players going forward who can create things and, 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 and make things happen. And, I, I was really, really pleased, and I'm, you know, three games in, um, and I've set them there. You're three games unbeaten. I bet you haven't heard that for a long time. And as you say, um, really good to, to get the three games unbeaten and some momentum. I mean, talk, people talk a lot about momentum in football, and it's a kind of a powerful thing. How do we now use the momentum with, with four home games coming up? Yeah, um, four home games and, and a big cup game Tuesday. The I've looked at these games since I've come in, and the next games are most important, and that's Tuesday night. Another cup competition, and a cup competition that I want to do well in. You, We've won two games of football, we should want to go and win another. I was up at 7 o'clock this morning and I was really excited about today, um, putting a smile on people's faces, that's what non-league football is about. And the lads have done that, the lads have been absolutely brilliant and it's a credit to them. But, you know, we go again Tuesday, winning a cup and then we'll go to low, at home to Lower Breck the following week. And uh, you, obviously, in terms of signings, we, we brought a new player in today, um, but, it, but the, the majority of the team is obviously players who, who've been here before. So can you put a finger on perhaps what a difference might, might, might be and, and what you've what you've seen and what, what you've perhaps instilled to, to a little bit differently since the, you've been here? The first Tuesday when I met all the players, I looked around the dressing room I, when we sat and had a chat and there's good players there. I've said this from day one, there's good players in there, players that's played in the league above. Um, but you get used to losing games of football and you become used to accepted games of football as well. Um, and that's what they've done. So I've instilled a little bit of, let's keep it simple, let's go back to basics um, and get in a habit, get out the habit of losing and start getting the habit of winning games. And you know, we've done it and I haven't complicated things. Football's not complicated. A lot of managers and coaches complicate things. Kept it as basic as I can. And you know what, it's not me that's done it. They've done it. They've put the shirt on. I can only give instructions. Fantastic. So thanks for your time and we'll uh, see you on Tuesday night. See you Tuesday, look forward Cheers. to it. Thank you.